EA Sports. And up next, we'll see Jalen Hurts. You can't ask for much more than his last game, a five touchdown effort. It's the Eagles and the Commanders, and it's all up next. We are technically five miles east of Washington, D.C., and that's where you find this place, FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Today it's week three, and we've got a good one in store, as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Washington Commanders. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about this commander's team coming into play here today. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Eagles, it's been a great start to the season, back-to-back -back wins to begin the campaign. Yeah, you don't want to get too excited. There's still a lot of season to go, but they've come out playing good fundamental football, and that might carry them a long way. It's the first weekend of autumn, and the NFL is in full swing as off we go on EA Sports. Here are the commanders for their first drive of the game. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. And the numbers were not pretty. I mean, they don't look right. When you throw two interceptions, no touchdown passes, there's no way to really make that work. But I thought there were a lot of positives in watching his game tape. I think he's close to putting on a good performance. Let's see if he can flip those numbers around in this game. And, of course, rally his team to a win. They'll begin the drive with a run by Dillon. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 11 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. Well, there you go. This offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah, with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. That's excellent execution to get things started. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there. Second down. You look at this Eagle defense. In that win last week over the Giants, they were very good. And the big difference in the game, their ability to force turnovers. Multiple, in fact. Being able to take the ball away, give it back to their offense, the big difference in the game. It was impressive. Now the question, can they duplicate it? No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Now this defense for the Eagles, very strong last week as they helped their squad improve to 2-0 and on the young season. And the big difference in the ball game, their ability to force turnovers, three of them in fact. Being able to take the ball away, give it back to their offense, that's something that's emphasized each and every week, and they carried it out. They give him seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down a couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down they give to Dillon out of the gun and shedding the tackle and now some room and a run past midfield just a yard or two shy of the 40 it's a pickup of 12 and a commander's first down how best to describe that one I'd say right down Broadway on that run a straight ahead running I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today well he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon sees a crease and busts through it for a solid game Reed Blankenship delivering the hit that felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that point from the get-go they never went crashing the ball here before he even made the wide, and they hold him to just a yard. Second and nine now. That's complete. Terry McClellan with it. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 13 yards there on a Washington first. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. I don't see Morgan trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. He'll look to throw. 
A solid stick on. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Back to throw here. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. A line of scrimmage once again, the five as they get ready for second and goal. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. The sack there by Brandon Graham coming in and bringing it down to the ground. They just gave up a sack there, and if I'm not mistaken, they gave up four last week, didn't they? Yes. And, and just looking really porous, aren't they? They really are, and I'm wondering if they're going to have to start thinking about keeping the tight end in, maybe a back, someone to help assist, because right now, the quarterback's been getting hit a lot in the last couple of games. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. And his kick is right there. It's good. And the Commanders get out to a 3-0 lead. And all in all, a pretty decent opening drive, Charles. Pretty balanced. They had the passing game going and the rushing attack, too. I would think they have to be happy with that start because you get your ground game going, which means your offensive line and your runners are pretty happy. And then you get your aerial attack going as well. So your quarterback and receivers have smiles on their faces. Now both up to speed, awaiting their next possessions for this game. They can't wait to get started again. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by a Heisman runner-up during his college days. It's the versatile Jalen Hurts. And he's off to a fantastic start to the season. Already eight touchdown passes in just his first two weeks of the year. Now, I don't think that's a pace he's going to be able to sustain. But at the very least, he's got this offense humming here to start things out. Now a run on first down is not going to get off the ground as they will get it behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of three. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Here's Hurts to throw. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. They'll come up now third and three. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have an Eagles first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. The Eagles at 2-0 here to begin the season. They come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victories, CD. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. And all the way down to the 10-yard line. 52 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. And runs like that with explosiveness, that's what this rookie can bring to the table. And add to it speed, patience, vision. A rookie has all of that. That's usually a veteran's combo play. I love this guy. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And finding room to work, he's down to the two-yard line. It'll be a pickup of eight and a good first step there with second and goal coming up. Hurts. Flush to his right. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Eagles are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. He was able to move around and found some vision to throw the football. And how about how he ended it? Boy, he had some zip on that throw. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to have an arm like that. Results in the touchdown here. Great play offensively. Elliott good with a PAT. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. 
And he'll very wisely take a knee here as they'll bring this one out to the 25 on the touchback. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. Now, early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra entry. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice, but at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. Second and 13. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Evans. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Second quarter now from our nation's capital and it's Washington in possession of the football. And this offense on third down today, they've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and nine. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up the first down. Up the middle they run. Here's Dillon. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Here's a play fake as they set up the throw. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. It's always tough trying to keep your guy upright when he's trying to throw the football. When you're dealing with those big bad guys on the defensive front, it's even tougher. And this time, those guys on the opposite side won the battle, getting to the quarterback and knocking him into an incompletion. Gets through and now an opening. Well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. 72 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Great run there, but it looked like they were going to have him for the stop. He was able to push through. They didn't wrap up defensively. No, they didn't. All credit to the runner for making it happen, breaking through some contact and going a long way. Touchdown! Mike Evans, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Commanders are once again back in front. Now the try here for the extra point. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it's Mike Evans who caps it with a touchdown reception. This fielded right at the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And the ground game's been good, but they're losing here in the second quarter. Can they use that ground game maybe to work the air attack a little bit more? I think so, because now you can throw play action off of being able to run the ball effectively. And oftentimes, you might want to just swing your back out of the backfield, get the ball in his hands in open space, and just don't get totally away from running it because some of these runs now, they may pop bigger as the game goes along. Yeah, they've been good with the run so far. Hurt sets up to throw it. Over the middle complete. It's Brown. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so are they going to be diligent about throwing the flag. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Second and ten. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. 
It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Well, I the coverage we just saw break out on third down. Dive defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed. Unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. Now let's see how the offense still out there. They elect to go on fourth and 11. Throwing his hurts. The 20. And he is going to have an Eagles first down. And they come up with a big one there to keep the drive moving and then some. Fourth down conversion plays. You usually think one, two, three yards, maybe 10. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Being chased out left. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts. A 15-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles have moved out in front. Oh, this is a great decision right here. Out of the pocket to his left. And he knows if he waits too long, the defense is going to be all over him. So he makes a decision to go and wins the race to the pylon. Elliott now to add the extra point. And that makes it 14-10. So the drive there took six plays, and it was finished by the touchdown run from the 15. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. And the Washington offense heading out. And that last drive, it was all about the ground game, ground and pound. And I don't care how we're playing the game these days, Offensive linemen still want to fire out and smack the guy opposite them and move the... Taking it right down Broadway! And he gets this one just shy of the 40. to mark him down at the 39. 86 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Well, we've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another one. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Again, it's Dylan fighting through, and he's got space. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. That good for 19 at a first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Dotson has it. Touchdown, Commanders. A 13-yard touchdown. And the Commanders have yet again retaken the lead. Extra point right down the middle. And it's now 17-14. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And it was Jahan Dotson with a touchdown catch to finish things off. Wide receiver A.J. Brown. You see he and the rest of his mates returning to the field here. He's been good so far to this point in the second quarter. Need to get him even more involved, maybe? I would agree with that. Definitely. Uh, yeah, it's not even a question for me. The way he's playing, he's doing a nice job. Increase things. More touches, more opportunities. Maybe that can reverse things on the scoreboard for them. They'll try to ratchet things up then maybe here in the second quarter. That's interference. Defense. 
So the penalty declined, and they will keep the yardage on the completion. And you could almost see him compartmentalize there throughout the route. Fought hard at the line of scrimmage, a lot of hand checking throughout the route. Great job staying focused on the football and pulling it in through the contact. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. But first down, Hurts. He finds his man complete. That's Franklin. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. And partner, they're locked in man coverage out left and they end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. He's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field. And that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that ground. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. A great play there. His third rushing touchdown of the year as they have taken the lead. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. Elliott good on the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. Commanders 17. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. There's A.J. Dillon, such a powerful runner, ready to lead this offense again on this next series. And Charles, you can't really fault him. He's over 100 yards already. He's not the reason they're losing. And that is really unusual because ordinarily, when you've set the tone this way and have run it this effectively, usually your team's in control. So that's a very strange situation. And you're right, you can't fault him. He's done a great job for his team thus far. Yes, and he's saying, feed me on the sidelines. Now will they continue to do it? He'll try again with the arm here on second down. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. Now they couldn't get anything going there out of the right side of the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game? Huge emphasis for this game, but obviously the defense had other plans and really made a nice play. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Back to throw again. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. They'll look to throw here. And the pressure gets to him again. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. Taking it at about the 36. Seven yards on the return after a punt of 39. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. 
Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. From the gun, it's Hurts. Open man has got it. The tight end. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They go play action with Hertz. And this is caught. Touchdown, Eagles. Devontae Smith in the final seconds of the first half. And the Eagles will extend their lead here just before halftime. Week after week, Charles, when we see this offense operate, I don't know, they just seem to get more impressive. They certainly do, and let's face it, it's no surprise they're the best in the NFL in scoring. This team designs things well and executes even better. And here, it only takes a few snaps before they're in the end zone. That's how they demoralize teams. That's how they put them on notice. Elliott Good with a PAT, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Four seconds, all that remain here this first half as the kick gets away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. One second, all that remains. And he completes this one to Terry McClure. And they work this well upfield across the 45. So a roughing the passer penalty there, CD. And we know that these pass rushers love to get after rookie quarterbacks, but they've still got to do it within the scope of the rules. And that time, the hit came just a little bit too late. And an official won't even think twice about pulling his flag on that one. And that is no good. And they will remain two scores down as the difference holds at 11. But no break needed. Let's get back to it. Week three, here we go with quarter three. We welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. Britton Covey going to bring it out of his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So here are the Eagles to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. So just three yards on the completion there, and it'll be second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field. And he cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. Finally held down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop it. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles. Tough spot here. Third and long. He's going to air one out. And unable to connect. Incomplete. I'll give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. The Eagles send out their punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And this offense will take over right at the midfield strike with a first and 10. First possession of the second half now for Washington. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Dillon, they try the left side with him. And he's going to get this one down to the 45. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. 
And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Second and five. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. That is caught. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Nine yards on the play and a first down. First down. First and 10 at the 36 yard line. Now Dylan on the inside give. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. And now a jet sweep. This is Evans with it. Gets by him at the 25. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. It's a six-yard run. Leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. They'll try and run for the first with Dillon. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 160 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run here with Dillon. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Second and 11. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. Touchdown, Washington. An 11 yard touchdown. And the Commanders have cut it back within a score. They'll look to throw. And it's incomplete. But a flag is down here, so hang on. Let's see what we've got. Yeah, no question. He got to the QB late CD, and that's going to get a flag every time. Every single time. Because let's face it, the league is always going to have an emphasis on these calls. They want to take care of these quarterbacks who are in vulnerable positions when they're passing the football. They're going to keep it on the ground. And he will dive into the end zone, and the two-point conversion is successful. I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet and said, go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call, and he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion, and now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves here's the philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession their lead down to a field goal now as they start with a first and ten they'll start this drive out on the ground and he'll push his way forward to about the 32. it's kareem jackson making the play defensively from the 32 yard line now here's a second and five Hurt's going to keep it running right. And he lost the football. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Now, the question... After review of the play. The so that one overturned. Over. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Now here's a handoff out of the gun, taken down at the 42. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. And wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three. But now it's third down. 
They don't need five on this play to move the sticks. They'll look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 41-yard line. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Airing it out deep for Smith. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. Flushed out right. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. They'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. Here's Jake Elliott. Career long, by the way, for him, 61 yards. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So three points uh, response there to that opening touchdown of this third quarter. And that's an important three, both in terms of adding to your lead, but also letting the other guys know you're not going to just come out in the second half and take over. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Out route looking for McLaurin. He's got him. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That'll put him right at 99 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. First and 10 at the 41-yard line. Dillon up the middle. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out. Back now at FedEx Field. It's Washington with the football, but trailing here as we begin quarter number four. From the 42-yard line, here's second and nine. They run once more with Dillon. And a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. 17 yards that time and a Washington first. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 41. To the right side, this is Dillon. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. The throw over the middle. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the defense not able to get it. From, from a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. You probably talk about this training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. There's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. They go play action here on first down. And this is caught at the end. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. Rookie to rookie.
Mickey on the hook up there, and it's a first down. Now back to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Commanders are an extra point away from going back on top here in the fourth. A very important extra point there. Up and good. And they have taken the lead here in this fourth quarter. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This take it in at the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. The Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. And the drive starts with a completion, left side. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's Hurts to throw. Got a man, it's Brown. That's good, the completion there for seven yards. And it's second down. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three at the 41-yard line. Hurts sets up to throw it. This short throw caught by Goddard. And Goddard going to have an Eagles first down as he's up past the 45-yard line. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. He delivers another to Goddard. Complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Give him back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16. And another first down. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. Down at the 35. It'll be second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Hurts throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And A.J. going to pick up an Eagles first down as the tackle is made at the 28-yard line. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Eluding the pressure right. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that will bring up second down. Throwing his hurts. The throw out wide going to be incomplete. Had the right idea there. Trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let him just a little bit too much trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. Hurts. convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal and here we are in the fourth quarter partner and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown and you and i both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there not just for himself but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too it'll be a minimum pickup and it will take us to the two minute warning Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. Second down, goal to go. Throw left side complete. That's Franklin. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass down the field. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right, good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. He's back to throw, sliding out of the pocket. And he's going to be out of bounds to stop the clock. 
And they continue to move a little bit closer toward that potential game-winning field goal. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest game we've seen on a scramble, but still, some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. The kick by Elliott is good. And with a little over a minute to play, they have taken the lead. Big kick right there to give him the lead in the fourth, but there is still time left for a final drive. Did they score too soon? Post game will tell us, right? Depending on what happens on this drive, that's how we'll analyze it. If the other team scores, they scored too soon. If they somehow hold on, they manage the clock exactly right. Taken at the goal line. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. Now Washington down by two, a minute six to play. Now their lead is evaporated, but they still have a shot on first down. Back to throw. And now look at this, big game by the fumble. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And to the 43, so down inside the 45 to the 43 yard line, that's where they'll take over. Well, that simply is a missed opportunity. They're in position. If they take the ball downfield and score, they've got a chance to win the game. Instead, they cough it up. I don't think next week at practice is going to be a whole lot of fun for him. On the other side, no bigger time to force a turnover when you've got that small lead. Yeah, and when you look at it from the, the offense's perspective, taking care of the ball is so important. I know they're going to have all kind of ball security drills in practice all next week. Now, during that run, an injury here. we got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Gets around him. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. Now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. And they'll indeed take a knee. And they cannot do anything to stop the clock defensively. Three straight wins to start the campaign now. And this is where a team, privately, within the confines of their own room, their meeting rooms, the locker room, they start to think to themselves, we're pretty good. We should be a playoff team. This ball game was close throughout. Remember, it was neck and neck at intermission, neck and neck at the end, but a great job to come in here in a tough environment, Charles, and get the victory. Yeah, it's up environment indeed. How about all the people we can hear shouting from their seats right below us, partner? They weren't real happy that their team didn't keep the home field. How about how these visitors came in, calm every step of the way, even with all the pressure, and found a way.